Introducing the new Advanced UI, coming to Bobcat Cam V36. Our MIL 3 Axis Pro operations now allow you to bypass the standard UI and choose the Advanced UI to program your toolpath. This new user interface unlocks tons of brand new options to give you an unprecedented amount of control over every aspect of your operations. Now let's dig into the advanced UI. So you'll click on open advanced parameters and you'll have a list of tabs at the top for feeds, surface paths, tool axis control, gouge check, link, roughing, and utility. There will be similar parameters in here as in the standard UI, except you will also have many other new parameters that are not existing yet. As you can see, you can set undercuts, round corners, 2D containments, an angle range, really many different options that you never had before. For example, you can enable a spiral cutting method and you can choose open cuts. So with this enabled, as you can see, we avoid air cutting and get a cleaner toolpath. Now we'll speed through the tool axis control and gouge check page as this is pretty self-explanatory, but basically you have similar options in the pro with the exception of a couple more advanced options. Now let's get into the links page. So in the links page, you can set up an entry and exit gaps along cuts links between slices and links between passes. In each section you have multiple different ways to set your entry and exit points. Now let's go to the retracts page and you can see how we can set a home position which allows you to move to one position between the entry and exit. And you have other clearance area options in here that you can define as well as setting your rapid plane, feed plane, and arc fit. Now you can also define lead-ins and lead-outs for each section as well. So let's enable use lead-in, select the three dots. We'll turn off the defaults and you can see the different types of options we have in here. So you can do a orthogonal arc, tangential line, orthogonal line, etc. So now let's move to the roughing tab. And the first option we have here is stock definition. This sees the stock in the job and will create toolpath inside of that stock. You can also shrink and expand to this, among other options. And now we also have a transform and rotate similar to toolpath pattern, but you can do it inside of the feature now. And we also have mirror, which is new for the pro toolpaths, which allows you to do exactly that, mirror. Now we'll head over to the utility tab and we have further control over our feed rates. So we can do a controlled zone. You can set up feed rates for your rapiding moves. You can set up feed rates for your links among other options. Now, once we finish this to quickly get back into the UI, right click on the operation and select launch advanced UI. Now there's a few other options I want to show you in the advanced rough so we'll go ahead and enable advanced UI and we'll go to the surface paths page and then we'll select on advanced and here you can set up different depth steps as well as intermediate slices so we'll enable that option there and you can set a minimum depth step as you can see in the video here when enabled it will get rid of extra unnecessary steps. Now let's move to the roughing page and we'll select on advanced and start points. This allows you to set a shift distance between links. We also have the option to avoid air machining which will get rid of internal passes that are not needed as seen in the video. This only scratches the surface of what's in the advanced UI. Contact us today to learn more.